Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more Hunter Hunter, you guys. I am so excited to see what's going to happen next, but I'll be honest, I am very, very scared and just very uneasy about this whole situation. Um, there is a lot to talk about because we sure had just a lot dropped on us last time. Um, I'm still reeling from the whole gone. <laughs> date thing. I don't know about anyone else, but um, I will briefly get into just kind of like where I'm at right now before we jump into the next episode. But first off, I just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. That means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, guys, um, just last time was <laughs> just a lot going on because we had Palm just completely like blowing my mind with, you know, her true form. <laughs> that was Paul's true form. Um, but I think it's really sweet that like underneath it all, she really is just kind of like this. Um, not that like look has anything to do with the type of person you are, but I think what they're trying to communicate even just by kind of showing how how she is acting here too, not just her, her physical looks, but um, is that she's actually very like gentle and kind. Um, but I, I'm not exactly sure, like, what's going on or why she um, ends up in the form that she does and is, like, talking about killing people and stuff like that. I'm sure there's a big backstory there. I hope we do get into it. I'm legit curious. I would love to get to know her better. Um, but, I mean, even just, like, looks aside, because I don't want to make it sound like it's like, oh, wow, she's actually, she's actually pretty, so she must be good, you know? Like, it's nothing like that. Certainly, the aesthetic differences are profound. However, I think there are also a lot of differences in um, just even the way she's acting and her attitude um, between what we've seen before and, you know, current with the date and everything. Um, so I, I hope we get to learn more. But I was asking last time, because Gon can't use his Nen, but like, does she not sense this rabbit amp person? And I don't know if maybe she's just distracted by Gon, maybe they're out of range, maybe she, I have no but, like, that's the reason why I was asking, like, and you guys were very nice to clue me in, like, yeah, she does have none. And she's actually an enhancer, which is funny because, um, as you guys were explaining, we know that the different types tend to have, like, similar common traits. Um, and enhancer is the one that's, like, very, like, gone-like. So it's kind of interesting that, like, she's an enhancer. And it turns out deep down she really is, you know, just a very um, seemingly kind, gentle, honest person. Um, not quite sure what all the other stuff is about, to be honest. Um, but we also had Killua in quite a situation. Killua, my, my little boy, going on about how he's going to leave Gone, and I'm just like, you are not leaving Gone. Stop saying you're leaving Gone. No one wants you to leave Gone. The fact that you're here is evidence that you would never do anything to hurt Gone. You're not going to be like, hmm, I've assessed this, and I think this is too much for me. I'm out of here. Unless you take Gone with you, like you did that one time. Please stop saying you're going to leave Gone. My heart can't take it if you leave Gone. Also, um... I honestly don't know because we've done some training and we already were pretty okay against a lot of like the lower ants. I mean, this one ant was like in charge, I think, of a group of other ants, but certainly nowhere to like the level of like the guards or the king. Um, so, I mean, I might be worried for nothing. He might be perfectly capable. I just, I just really don't love the idea that, like, he's out here. Nobody knows he's here. And he's just out here. You know, if something happens to him out here, they're all just going to assume, like, Bisky's probably going to say, like, well, yeah, I told him he had to leave if he lost. And they're just all going to assume he left. Like, I just, it really, as a mother, it's just really, <laughs> it's just really making me upset that he's, like, out here alone and, uh, you know, just... I don't like it. I don't like it. So, but that being said, he might be fine. Um, we'll see. We'll see if maybe like 
you know, it's possible that we actually are going to get back up and, you know, they're just kind of like playing it cool right now or they're super distracted by their date. Um, last thing I will talk about is Gone. And Gone's romantic <laughs> way. Um, I thought it was funny to find out that like, so I guess like he was just kind of, because he said Mito was there most of the time. He It was very innocuous, just kind of like, um, just sort of um, showing people around. But um, basically my takeaway was that, you know, all the charm, all the like knowing what nice things to do and everything, kind of almost like the decorum of a date, um, was kind of learned through that process. And so Gone is like a stinking romantic over here. He just set up this beautiful little date. And of course, being Gone, he's just super sweet and pleasant to be around anyway. So Palm is just like, <gasps> I guess you could say he's got her in the palm of his hand. <laughs> Please don't leave. Please don't turn off the video. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't help myself. You could blame for my Ruby people out there. You know? You know, you know she's my girl. You know I have to. All right, we'll put Yang back for now. I have a little Yang and Blake here for my for my Ruby people because I know you're out there. I have a little Yang and Blake over here. I don't have the others though. I couldn't find them. Anywho, um, all right, guys. I think this is gonna be an arduous journey. I'm I'm scared, but I want to know what's gonna happen. So let's just rip the band-aid, get into the next Hunter Hunter. Let's go. He's, sh he's, he's, okay, he's shaking. No, he's got, he's got to fight that instinct. Baby, you can fight it. Although I kind of want him to run, I'm not going to lie. Calm down. You don't have to listen to him ever again. Yes, his love for Gome will overwhelm. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he wasn't on guard because he was still wrestling with himself. Oh, the oh. It's so sweet and wholesome, and it's reminding me of something else that is also sweet and wholesome. So I'm like, being hit in the feels twice. This must be taking place far, far away, because how could... I mean, Gon can't sense, but I feel like she could at least sense. So that my, he must have lured him way the heck out. No, uh, somebody do something. Back the truck up. Right now. No, no. No, no, I won't accept this. Don't, please guys, don't do this. Don't do this, don't. Ew. And they keep cutting this beautiful little, he got her, oh. <gasps> Lord, they're all gonna flock to it, and it's gonna be like she's holding like an LED tree. Oh my god, I can't. I just hate that we're cutting back and forth between this and Kilo getting his butt kicked. Look at that. She's I get the feeling she's not often treated this well. Does that is it just me? Does anyone else get that feeling that people probably get put off by her and she never gets treated well? Oh, it's like you're holding them. A basket, little little bouquet of light. <laughs> She's so happy. I feel like no one's ever this good to her. Huh? Does he know? He's got to... Ah... They just think he's under, like, control. 
That's right. They just think he's like under control. They don't, they're not really aware. I don't even know. I can't devote myself right now. Uh, uh oh. It almost seems like he can't control it. Gone. Seeing Gone's face in his hat is even stronger. He has to. Oh, he can't even get. The thing is, he can't even get his bearings to like get up. Because his love for Gone is stronger. It's stronger than what his family put him through. His ears up. He's like, what? What you're seeing is like raw determination in love. No. You don't have any power over him anymore. You don't. He's, he's like, uh, he's like getting really put off by this whole situation. He's like, this is taking away my appetite. Gone is his friend. Dear friends. Oh, I can't handle this. Oh, I can't handle this. Right. His love is always, his love and his bond to Gone is always, whoa, oh my god, whatever just was in his head just snapped like a twig, and there is nothing holding him back anymore. <laughs> Holy crap, did he literally just pull something out of his head? There was literally, so I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew it. What did I say? What did I say? For him to physically overcome something that was physically planted in his head. <gasps> he did. And he ripped it out. Excuse me, Mr. Ant. You're gonna die. Bye bye. <gasps> ah! Yes, my baby, my boy, my boy is back. That's what that's what his aura looks like right now. It looks like a giant venomous snake. But yeah, that's his best friend. Oh, she just realized. He's not going to tell them. <gasps> Pom legit just almost tried to kill Killua. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like. Palm, you are trying to kill people. You need to, you need to, like, defuse whatever is going on here. Wow. Yeah, let's get out of there. Oh, my God. And after that nice date, too, she just couldn't handle the fact that she could. Now they're playing the wacky music. Is it because why not play wacky music when somebody is. <laughs> and he's just carrying going. I was like, what? What? He doesn't want to do that. He worked really hard to like become her friend. She did very much. She did very much just try to kill Killua. She probably knew deep down she was not using the correct force or speed to do that. See, she's so upset that like people are really trying to like trick her and not really being good to her. That's really sad. 
This is how it happens. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh my God. Holy crap, Palm. What are you doing? Ick. That is a yucky power to have. She has like a crystal ball. Why though? Because she's so worried that she's been tricked. Oh! 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 Master's home. Okay. That's the thing is like, I, I, I'm glad we're prepping them. It's got to be pretty bad. I had I feel like they had said she wasn't supposed to without his permission. How is that exactly? Oh, she just wants to be special to somebody, guys. It's really He is pretty dreamy, but <laughs> to be honest. Okay, she's like, uh, oh, going's nice, but you see, the knives are in style right now. That's just a Vogue fashion thing. Don't worry about it. I kind of feel bad for Palm. Let's hate be. He's now in a relationship with a, a 22. Wow, okay. And he, and he doesn't even realize he's just been dumped. Because she, you know, her heart belonged to another, I suppose. He's never going to tell Gon any of that, is he? You seem lighter. Your, your burden seems a little lighter. We're, we're monitoring them to see. Oh, and Palm is back to, okay, Palm is back to Palm now. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> Yeah, we still have, like, a lot of these ants just kind of on the loose, right? Oh, okay. Knuckle is, is on it. The shirt is off. Oh, someone's about to pay some interest. Your interest rates just went up. That is, that is sad. <laughs> That is so sad. It's such a sad thing to hear. Be safe, Knuckle. Oh, he's not alone. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. You better take that back, because I have seen both these individuals at work. Good Lord, you guys. All right. <sighs> so much to discuss. Okay. I gotta say, I went through a real roller coaster with Palm here because I I was debating at the beginning of this episode, like why why is she exactly the way if she has this capability, like where where does the disparity happen exactly? And I gotta say I'm pretty saddened by what I saw because it seems like she just truly believes that something I don't know. It's not exactly this, but she was going on about being tricked. Um, and I know that what she wanted was like Gon's devotion. And he said, I'm sorry, I really can't give that to you right now because of all I have going on. And she was going on about like being tricked and everything. So it almost seems like from my perspective, she feels that Gon kind of led her on, but didn't really care about her and was just trying to hurt her. And to me, that's kind of a reflection of how she must have been treated in the past and how she feels about herself. Like she feels like in the end, good things can't happen to her. That's really sad. I know they played it off as wacky, but I gotta say I'm feeling legitimately kind of bad about the whole thing. Am I the only one? I guess I'm just, I guess I'm supposed to come away wacky for, I'm supposed to take it as wacky. So I'll just try to take it as wacky. Um, but it is kind of like mired in sadness a little bit. Um, but I was, uh, her ch uh, all I'm gonna say is I know she probably just went after Killua not at full strength because if she, I, I really thought she was trying to kill him like that I'm sorry that is too far <laughs> that is way too far you don't just go after people and try to of course she's been saying stuff about killing people the whole time what is it had they said something about her blood in the past 
Maybe they have, because I didn't realize that her blood specifically was very special. What is it about her blood that's special? And I do feel like I remember her saying she wasn't supposed to use her ability without um, her master's permission. That I vaguely, I feel like that's vaguely familiar. Um, but I didn't realize, like, so what is the deal with her blood? I'm sure we'll get more into it. Um, although it kind of seems like we're moving on to, like, kind of another phase now. Um... But yeah, that at the date was just so precious and beautiful. Oh my god, Killua! Like I'm watching and I'm like, if Killua could even just like get his bearings for a second, I feel like he really just this guy just would not really be a challenge to him. Like at the very least, he'd be able to give as good as he got, you know. And he just was so struggling that like he just kept on getting pummeled and pummeled and pummeled. I even liked that like that look in his eyes was enough to stop. Even the ant in its tracks and, um, like, that look of just raw determination was enough. Um, but, man, once he got that little bobby pin thing out of his head, and I already told you how I feel about that. I, you, you've already heard me go on about it. But, man, that was just, it was no even, it was no contest. There was no contest there whatsoever. And I love how, like, seeing is how this was like I feel a big milestone on his journey to get away from the treatment and the abuse of his family um I love that he followed it up not with like a killing blow immediately but a chance to get away like don't bother us ever again or else because we know this all started with he didn't want to be a killer and I love that like as soon as he physically gets that control out of his head he's like Okay, I'm giving you the chance to not die. And then, you know, a person was coming at him. So he took the head. Oh, Killua. I'm so proud of my Killua. I'm so, so proud of my Killua. I'm cracking up at Gon and how Gon was like, she's not going to hurt us. <laughs> she really does look like she's going to hurt them. I'll be, I'll be honest. I love how she, like, does not like Killua at all. And I feel like, um... They both have, like, Palm and Killua have this very kind of, like, no-nonsense way of looking at their love for Gon. So it's funny that they would, like, and interesting and make sense that they would, like, butt heads about it. Um, but Gon's just here like, no, no one's gonna hurt me. <laughs> and he, he probably would just, like, say something to her and she'd be like, uh, okay. <laughs> She really wants to belong to someone. She really wants to be, like, special to somebody. It's super sad. I don't know. It makes me sad. Um, but anyway, so I think we are done with the whole Killua has to leave Gon thing. If I had to venture to guess, he was like, hey, let's hit the gym. He wasn't like, well, he's still looking out for him during the 30 days. Though, so I don't know. Maybe he does still hit. He better not. There's no need now. We know why he was trying to run away. He physically could not control it until he just completely like bossed up even more and did enough to get it out of his head um but yeah um can you imagine though him fighting that i you've already you've already heard me go on about it but um all right guys so next is to prep the boys for whatever condition kite is in which cannot be good um i'm, I'm gonna put it out there right now it's gonna be like zombie kite it's not gonna be good I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Um, so, yeah, guys, great episode. Oh, my God. Had me going the entire time. Headphone warning. <laughs> it's not going to do any good now. Maybe I'll put it at the beginning of the video instead. Um, but, yeah, guys, that was an epic episode. I cannot wait to see where we're going next because we still have a ton to deal with. We still have all these ants to clean up after abroad let's not forget that it looks like that's going to be challenging so um i cannot wait to see what's going to happen next i loved that episode um i i guess we'll just kind of uh see where things are headed with all the pieces we still have on the table so i hope you enjoyed watching along with me as always thank you so much for joining me today and please be sure to join me next time we will watch it together bye for now guys